Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Today is super exciting because I am headed off to Geneva. This is my second time going to the Geneva International Auto Show. And after going the first time, I've deemed it my favorite automotive show in the world. And this year, there promises to be a crazy amount of new car releases. It has been raining every other day in Southern California. I don't understand. What do we got in here? Oh yes. If you guys missed it, I took delivery of my new McLaren 600 LT. I am so excited about this car. Such an amazing car to drive and I can't wait to film a ton of videos with it for you guys. Headed off to Geneva, so unfortunately I can't drive it today, but damn, just looking at it. I can't get over that roof scoop. It honestly is like a baby P1. And finally, finally, I have doors that go up. Shout out to my boy Matt Marcoux for taking one of my absolute favorite photos of the Lamborghini. All right, odds the foot kick works. Come on. <laughs> that never seems to work when you need it to. I always like to pack super light when I go on trips because I never know what type of cars I'm gonna be in and situations I'm gonna come upon. So all I brought is this bag and this handy backpack. Just arrived in Geneva after a 14 hour long flight, one to London and then to Geneva. The front of the Intercontinental Hotel never disappoints in terms of the cars that are here. We have a beautiful 600 LT, but check this out. My buddy Lathyrus P, the guy who graciously let me drive his Koenigsegg. Just the noises this car makes is just ridiculous. Oh my God. Has brought his Pagani Zonda. I've never seen this one before absolutely stunning. Then we are headed to the show. It's actually the day before the first press day. We're gonna get a little sneak peek into some new McLaren action. Looks like this 600 LT has almost all of the carbon options as well as the Senna seats. Behind me is something I have never seen before. On the badge, it says David Brown Silverstone Edition Speedback. It looks very Aston Martin-ish. Really intricate design. Check this out. See, the side looks very much Aston Martin Bentley-esque. That is beautiful. Kind of Ferrari inspiration in the front. It is awesome seeing this Zonda S up close, getting to check out some of the unique details of the car. For one, the left and right mirrors have to be some of the highest mounted mirrors of any car I've ever seen. They are actually above your head, so you're almost looking upwards into them. We've also got one center mounted windshield wiper, which is awesome, and these reverse Naka ducts in the front corner panels. Also, a bunch of hidden carbon fiber element underneath the hood that you wouldn't see unless you were really looking. The wing design is crazy as well. Check it out, it's actually split into a second wing on top of a wing. Like I said, not a bad entrance to a hotel. We also have this gorgeous Polestar. Love the way that car looks as well. Just waiting for the shuttle now so we can head to the auto show. Well, we have made it to the Geneva International Auto Show. It is the day before the initial press day and we are at McLaren's little secret operation here. We've got an MSO version of the 600 LT. I was really curious to see what they've done different uh, compared to the standard 600 LT, obviously, because I just took delivery of mine. But some cool little details. They've got flat carbon fiber here, a matte finish instead of gloss. I was actually thinking about using Expel Stealth Wrap uh, on mine to give it the similar kind of finish. Then we've got this gorgeous Napier green accents that they decided to use super lightweight vinyl instead of paint to save weight. We've also got Napier green accents for the calipers here, the Senna seats, and then when you come around back, you really can get a good glimpse of what the actual matte carbon fiber looks like 
think it's way cooler than the Gloss. Interestingly enough, in the United States so far, all of the cars have been delivered with a non-carbon fiber wing. Apparently it was something to do with the heat. So my car, even though I ordered it with carbon fiber, came without it, but hopefully we can sort something out and actually get one with carbon fiber. Now next to it, is the new 720S GT3. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. And what's crazy is, because the 720S from the factory has over 700 horsepower and it's so lightweight, they have to restrict it for the race car version. Normally you're used to seeing a race car, you've got more horsepower and less weight, but this car is actually so fast that they had to restrict it to only 550 horsepower. It weighs 1250 kilograms dry, but they actually have to add 100 kilograms of lead to make it up to snuff with the rest of the competition. Now, we've got one more car I wanna show you before we get to the coolest car here, one I have never seen before, and that is the McLaren Speedtail. We've got a beautiful blue 720S Spider, just like the one that I drove in Arizona. Absolutely love this car. The flying buttress detail right here, such a cool feature, and that electrochromic glass on the roof, something that I didn't realize the Speedtail has as well. All right, let's get on to the car that everyone wants to see over there. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first time I am seeing the McLaren Speedtail in person. And like the Senna, like the 720S, it looks so much better in person than it does in photos. When you take the three-dimensional shape and you put it into 2D, it is so hard to capture all of the undulations and the beauty of this car, but it actually looks fantastic. So this is the McLaren Speedtail, the ultimate series Hyper GT, the spiritual successor to the McLaren F1. Crazy numbers for you. Only 106 of these are being produced. Top speed, 250 miles per hour, although something tells me that's a little bit conservative and it's gonna go quite a bit faster than that. Now the acceleration is what McLaren truly cared about with this car. Zero to 300 kilometers an hour, that's zero to 186 miles an hour in 12.8 seconds. That's actually faster than a Bugatti Chiron. That's right, this is faster than a Chiron. Everything about the McLaren Speedtail was done in terms of aerodynamics. The overall shape is incredibly unique. It's actually 16.9 feet long, which is nine inches longer than the F1 GTR long tail. You'll also notice these interesting wheel caps here made not only of just carbon fiber, but we also got titanium in the weave, which looks so beautiful, but also strengthens it without adding any additional weight in the name of aerodynamics as well. You'll notice here, this looks kind of like a door handle, but also in the name of aerodynamics, these are actually the side view mirrors. That's right, they actually retract for aerodynamic efficiency, and when they pop out, they're cameras instead of mirrors themselves, and they project on one of five screens in the interior here. Of course, the craziest part of the McLaren Speedtail is the fact that it has three seats. That's right, one in the middle and two behind it. And you notice there's some awesome bespoke renderings on the screen here. You can actually get the middle seat in a different color than the rest of them. Let's go around the rest of the car here. You'll notice the window is a little bit different shade up here, here, and here. That's because this is actually electrochromic glass. With the click of a button, you can tint it and untint it, just like on the 720S Spider. Got a gorgeous Bowers and Wilkins sound system. They went all out on this car. This is where you fill it up, the gas, and there's also, on the other side, for electricity, it is a hybrid powertrain more carbon fiber and titanium mix that flow into this black color on the roof. It looks so nice. Here's where some of the coolest features of the McLaren Speedtail are. For one, I didn't realize this, but this is actually part of the luggage space. It actually has the same amount of storage capacity as a 720S coupe. So in a sense, it's practical and you can fit one more person in it because it has three seats. But the coolest part of the entire car 
is this and this right here. These are carbon fiber ailerons that are actually flexible and built into the clamshell that can move upwards and downwards to change the aerodynamics of the car. Now, if you look really, really low down, there we go, they've activated right there, you can see the exhaust down there. This is actually the lowest rear deck lid of any McLaren they have ever made. You can see this beautiful carbon fiber titanium finish. It looks so good in person and I'm hoping that someone through MSO does an entirely bespoke car in carbon fiber titanium. All right, now we can take a closer look at the interior of the Speedtail with that gorgeous center seat. The amount of customization you can do in this car it's known as hyper bespoke is unlike any McLaren before. So we've got three main screens here with beautiful graphics. And then we've got our side view mirrors that are actually displays here and here. And when they all turn off, they integrate into the cabin very, very well. Interesting to see. I wonder how much space you actually get as a passenger and hopping in might be an interesting technique. But check out the steering wheel itself. That beautiful carbon fiber is actually co-developed in partnership with Richard Mille, the watch brand. Uh, they tested out a whole bunch of different carbon fibers and you can actually integrate color into the carbon fiber steering wheel as well. Bowers and Wilkins sound system down here, absolutely stunning. Some controls up there, the active panel as well as the start stop button. One of the really cool byproducts of the titanium being integrated with the carbon fiber through a PVD process is you can actually anodize the titanium to be several different colors. McLaren's allowing up to six different colors, so we've got this beautiful silverish gray, but you can change it to something like gold or whatever your heart desires. Then after that process, they're allowing you to actually imprint designs, pictures, something complicated, or maybe your name or logo into specific interior components in the titanium as well. Taking a look dead on at the front, what a menacing looking front end. We've got aerodynamic elements right there to travel air around the side. And then also this little vent here actually allows air to pass through the doors inside the bodywork all the way to the end of the car. Now, something to note is that these wheel caps don't actually spin with the wheels. They're actually completely stationary and allow wind to travel along the body lines of the car. Let's take a closer look at the front badge on the Speedtail. It's actually made from white gold, and we've got the Hallmark stamp with the McLaren logo showing the quality of the white gold there and the beautiful carbon fiber pattern as well. You can also get this in normal color gold, but I believe the white gold looks a lot nicer. Taking a look again at the rear of the Speedtail, I love the Speedtail logo. Notice on their Ultimate Series of car, like the Senna and the Speedtail, we have an actual name to the car instead of a number and a letter. Then we've got the upper brake light. It's actually vertically oriented, which looks so, so cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this rather brief walk around of the Speedtail. We're gonna get a more in-depth look, also talk to the designers of the car in terms of the materials and the aerodynamics so you can learn everything about it. But seeing this in person, honestly, so much more impressive than in pictures. Well guys, that concludes the preview day at the Geneva Auto Show. I am so excited for tomorrow. There's going to be a ridiculous amount of epic reveals from almost every single different manufacturer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.